my plan for motor mounts. I've got a welder. I have a GM mount times two. It came with the engine. I already drilled for these four holes to mount it to the block. My plan is to, um, these are rivets basically, cut these rivets out, separate that motor mount out, and use this backing plate as the basis for my motor mount that attaches to the engine. ever and you want to reinforce that but at the least I have a nice base I'll probably end up welding um, part of the pipe or part of the mount that goes downward with an extra plate in here um, but we'll see baby steps So, first time I'm going to use this, but kind of handy. And even with this little guy, I'll blow the breaker in my garage if I'm up to max, which on some of this I'm probably going to be. So when I got a TIG welder, I wired in this 50 amp circuit. And I got myself a giant 220 extension cord and along with that I don't need it for this one I got myself an adapter so plugs right in there like that just like your wall socket and now I'm never ever going to be blowing breakers on this thing which is kind of nice because especially when you get in the middle of a good bead a lot of sheet metal work you're never going to have this problem but when you start cranking it up I would always blow it it's on the same circuit as the TV and the lights everything shuts down and it's annoying so I don't have that problem anymore plates cut out got the mill scale mentioned that a little bit earlier but not gonna want to weld to that so I'm gonna put these plates in like that weld them up Okay, so start making motor mounts, isolator part, hockey pucks, made in Czech Republic for what it's worth. Um, I'm going to cut, this is looks like quarter inch. I have half inch bolts, so these are going to go through there. And down through there and then down through the subframe part of the mount that attaches to the engine these old control arms that I used to use I'm guessing this metal is quite thick I'm gonna double check um, but I am planning on using that as the portion that goes from here to there okay so there you go, plates. Um, 
I'm actually, if you're looking at the engine, this thing, I'm going to come down here, be welded there. This is nowhere near the links or whatever, but this, and then the cross member. So this stuff's quite a bit thinner, but I am going to want something that is up against the cross member besides just that, because the cross member is significantly smaller, so it would dig into that part of it, so I'm going to back it with metal. Okay, so... I've cut two plates the bottom so imagine this is cross member it's gonna go there it's gonna go on top it's gonna go there one of these gets welded up and meets that guy Okay, so I got the holes drilled in all these plates. And the thicker ones had mill scale. So we're going to weld and you want a good joint. Go ahead and grind that stuff off. I didn't grind it on this side because I'm not going to be welding to that side. But this side I ground it off. So that piece, need to drill holes in the puck that piece on top. Again, one of these in one fashion or another welded down here. Up to that. Okay, so I crawled under there um, and figured out I need about five and a half inches. Um, I am going with this system because A, I have the part I mean, there would be zero reason to really do this if you didn't have it, but I did. And it's a good wall thickness. Gives me a little adjustability if I, for whatever reason, find out that my engine needs to be angled up. I don't have to shim it. I can actually just move this uh, like you would a tie rod. So I'm cutting off um, five and a half, making this five and a half inch total length. And then if I need it longer or shorter, I have some give right there. These are going to need to be angled. Um, how much yet? I don't know. It's going to be a little experimentation, but I'm going to start off with the five and a half and see where that leaves us. So the next step is I'm going to use these, but uh, a lot of uneven surfaces, and I don't want to be welding to that and filling gaps and what have you. So I've got some thicker stuff that I can reinforce as well. So I'm going to weld that in there. That'll give it. A little more strength and more importantly just an even surface too. Not too bad. Missed a spot but came back and got it. It's not falling apart. the part that I really miss having a MIG for because I've got the plate right there got another one there and all I want to do is tack this enough it off here keep its position and take it to the bench. And with a MIG, I would just reach up there right now and go zzz. TIG, I've got to worry about pressing this pedal down and some other stuff, but we'll figure it out. So, that attack on there, it's super hard to do this. Normally, you want three tacks. I'm going to try and 
gently get this thing out of there and tack the other couple before I final weld. Um, hopefully that works. MIG's coming Tuesday, worst case I can't do it, but got a pretty good tack on there, so I think I should be okay. Okay, so there's the motor mount, painted up with some hammerite. Everything's welded on there. Again, it's not a pro job, but I don't think it's falling apart. So I will go ahead and put this one on. I'm waiting for the other one to cool down still. And hopefully we get it in tonight. So got the other one installed. This is the one for the passenger side. Gonna get that bad boy installed. It's actually pretty handy to have the adjustability when I'm installing these things, but at any rate, ready to go in.